Welcome back. I am Adi Chavardhan from AdiChemistry.com. This is part 2 of IUPAC nomenclature dealing with the selection of parent chain and root word for a given organic compound. Let us start with recalling complete format of IUPAC name as discussed in previous presentation that is part 1. While giving IUPAC name to an organic compound, we should always start with choosing a correct root word which indicates the length of parent chain. So first of all, we have to choose a parent chain in the given organic compound. Okay, you may ask now what is a parent chain? It is the longest continuous carbon chain containing as many functional groups, double bonds, triple bonds, side chains and substituents as possible in the given order. That means the parent chain must contain as many carbon atoms as possible which are arranged continuously. Let us try to understand what is the meaning of continuous chain of carbons Look at this carbon chain which contains 5 carbon atoms connected in a continuous manner. So this is the parent chain with 5 carbon atoms and hence the root word is pent. However, look at this carbon chain. Here only 3 carbons are connected continuously. Hence this is the parent chain and the root word must be prop. Whereas the OCH3 group is considered as a substituent on the parent chain. One more important aspect is the parent chain need not be straight. Most of the students are confused with this. For example, look at this molecule. The longest continuous chain of carbon atoms is not the straight one. As shown, there are 6 carbon atoms arranged continuously but not in straight line. This should be selected as parent chain and the root word must be hex. As mentioned already, the parent chain must contain as many functional groups as possible. Actually, the functional group is the king which decides the parent chain. Look at this molecule. There are two longest possible carbon chains with six carbon atoms in each. The first one is the straight one as shown, whereas the second one is L-shaped and has the same number of carbons as that of the first one. Now the question is, which one to choose as parent chain? Since there is an alcoholic functional group OH on the second chain, we must choose this as the parent chain. Hence, the root word is hex. The CH2CH3 group, which is considered as a substituent, it is referred to as ethyl group. Okay, now look at this molecule which substantiate the importance of functional group while deciding the parent chain. You can clearly see there is a carbon chain with seven carbon atoms as shown. We may be tempted to select this as parent chain since it contains more number of carbon atoms. However, one must not forget about the functional group. You can see an alcoholic functional group which is not directly connected to the chain with seven carbon atoms. Hence, the parent chain must be chosen so that it contains the OH group as shown. Since this new chain with functional group contains only six carbon atoms, the root word is hex. The CH2CH2CH3 group is now considered as a substituent. 
it is referred to as propyl group now we will see the role of double and triple bonds while deciding the parent chain look at this molecule there are two carbon chains with equal length that is with seven carbon atoms first one is the straight one with seven carbons and the second one is L shaped as shown it is also having seven carbon atoms the second chain is to be chosen as parent chain since there are two double bonds and the root word is hept there is a CH2 CH2 CH3 side chain referred to as propyl group however the double and the triple bonds are not as much important as functional group while deciding the parent chain look at this molecule the chain with double bond has only eight carbons while there is another chain with nine carbons now the question is which one should be taken as parent chain in this case the longest chain should be considered as a parent chain irrespective of the presence of double bond on the other chain so the root word is uh, not hex it is none one should note this difference between the role of functional group and the double or triple bonds in deciding the parent chain and what about uh, the group with the double bond so this is considered as a substituent and it is referred to as prop 2 in one aisle group we are going to learn how to name the substituents in the next presentation now what about triple bond is it as equally important as that of double bond no one should remember that double bond has more preference over triple bond while deciding the parent chain especially when there is a tie between two chains of equal length one containing double bond and the other one containing triple bond at equal positions for example look at the following molecule there are two chains of equal length as shown hence the root word can be given as hex but which one is to be taken as the parent chain the first chain shown on the left contains two double bonds whereas the second chain shown on the right contains a double bond and a triple bond so there is a competition between triple bond and a double bond since double bond is more preferred choose the first chain as shown on the left as parent chain and now look at the CH triple bond C group it is considered as the substituent and referred to as ethinyl group you will learn how to name the substituents in the next presentation once again the functional group you know that it is the king and is more preferred over the double or triple bonds while deciding the parent chain for example look at the following molecule there are two chains of equal length one containing double bond and the other one containing amine functional group since functional group has the highest preference the second chain with functional group must be taken as parent chain hence the root word is hex whereas the CH double bond CH2 group is considered as substituent it is referred to as ethenyl group finally what is the role of side chains and substituents in the selection of parent chain look at the following molecule there are three chains of equal length seven carbons in each case therefore hept must be the root word 
but uh, the question is which one is the parent chain as mentioned already the parent chain must contain as many side chains and substituents as possible now look at uh, the three cases there are two substituents in the first case three in the second case two in the third case hence the second chain must be taken as the parent chain okay that is all for today play with the different combinations of molecules and try to select parent chain and give root word you will learn how to give primary suffix or suffixes in the next presentation visit adhikemistry.com for more information about IUPAC nomenclature especially the link shown on the current slide you will also find links to previous videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe post your queries in the comment section of this video